Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, to make his remarks at the closing of the forum, we have the honor of inviting to the podium the President of Bulgaria, Rosen Plevneliev. President Zeman, President Schultz, Speakers of Parliament, Ministers, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, after such a brilliant performance of a world-class music and artists, words are needless. But we need to speak again and again. We need to repeat again and again. We need to come back to this place again and again, get together, share again and again our message with this brilliant music. But also with our unity, our message of integrity and our message of tolerance, our message of humanity to the people of the world. It is the responsibility of every one of us to keep the memory of the Holocaust alive. When we commemorate those who died, as we listen to the stories of those who witnessed, we are asking ourselves, how could this happen? How the civilized world allow this, let this happen? A tragedy of this scale cannot be explained by just pointing at those who initiated and executed repressions and mass murder. What about those who have been indifferent? About those who were afraid? What about those who thought, well, this has nothing to do with me? We should not forget the crimes of Nazism. We must not let the memory pass away with the last survivors, with the witnesses. We cannot have a progress if we do not know our past, which will help us measure in the progress we achieve 70 years later. If we cannot learn from the history, if we will repeat mistakes and mistakes, then Churchill will be right. History will repeat again and again. And as a president, I am strongly committed. I am engaged with the topic of the victims of totalitarian regimes. For me and for Bulgarian people, it is a topic of utmost importance. Almost two years ago, in the very heart of European democracy, in the European Parliament, we get together with a wise and respected president who said, better economic crisis than moral catastrophe, better economic problems than historic shame. These words came from the president of the State of Israel, Shimon Peres, whom I consider a living legend. President Peres and I opened an exhibition to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the rescue of the Bulgarian Jews. In his speech, he described the Bulgarian people as humble, unobtrusive, and yet genuinely heroic against all odds. Bulgarians gave the world an unprecedented example of courage and humanity by making a moral choice in defiance of the greatest evil in history, the Nazis. In the dark years of the World War II, Bulgarians succeeded in saving the entire Jewish population within the country, nearly 50,000 people. Unfortunately, Bulgaria was in a situation where it could not do the same for the Jewish people 
from northern Greece and parts of Yugoslavia as they weren't Bulgarian citizens. We deeply mourn the losses of their lives as well as all the victims of Holocaust whom we will always remember. We must not forget that in every society there will be always someone who would prefer the sword, not the pen. There will be always fanatics and extremists who will try to kill innocent people in the name of God. But a brutal murder has nothing to do with God. Because God does not want anyone to dominate over the others. Because God is telling us that we are all born equal and in peace. We should work for peace. We should make sure that nobody dominates over the others. God is teaching us that every life matters, no matter of Christian, Muslim, Buddhist or other. Every life is important. The events that shocked Paris recently caused a wave of solidarity and together united the citizens of Europe openly stated that they will continue to defend human life, dignity and freedom to everyone. Let us support every initiative against fanatism, xenophobia and anti-Semitism. Tonight, in solidarity with the campaign of the Jewish organizations like the European Jewish Association, the lights of the presidential building in Sofia will remain on in order to remind us that even today there are people in Europe that are afraid for their safety. That gesture has a symbolic meaning. It shows that sometimes even the smallest action, the smallest effort is enough to drive out the darkness and bring back hope and light. Even the worst of evil will be stopped when people with different religions, with different ethnic and cultural and social backgrounds just firmly say no to hatred. Where they think it's up to me and when they act. So we're all impressed by the words of a young Muslim man who risked his life to save several people's lives during the hostage crisis in Paris recently. This young Muslim man said, we're brothers. It's not a question of Jews, Christian or Muslims. We're all at the same boat and we have to help each other to get out of this crisis together. Today, just across my office in the very heart of city of Sofia, we have a wonderful temples of different religions. We do have a well-preserved 9th century Byzantine church. We do have a mosque. We do have a wonderful synagogue. We do have a Catholic church. They have coexisted peacefully from centuries. And that's a great example of tolerance, of wisdom, and of respect for diversity. Let us all, politicians, activists, and citizens, never forget that it's up to all of us to shape the world we live in. Let us not stop making it a better place.